this video, we're going to discuss the use of swimming drills and highlight five key elements to ensure you get the best out of your drills when practicing during training. Swimming drills are exercises performed in the swimming pool and are a breakdown of particular movements of the swimming stroke used to physically condition a swimmer and develop both mental and physical coordination. The reason for using drills are often forgotten long after the tradition lives on. What this means is most swimmers practice drills assuming that doing the drill will improve their swimming stroke. If a drill is not practiced properly, there is no mental or physical conditioning. This brings us to our first key element, the value. The value refers to the conditioning or utility that you seek to get from your swimming drill. For example, in lateral kick, we seek to practice holding a rotated position and aligning our rotation and pull together. We may use lateral kick to practice breathing. The rule of the breath is to one, breathe, and two, do not disturb the rest of the stroke. We can practice lateral kick moving the head incredibly slowly and ensuring that the leading arm, the torso and the legs do not change body position. Number two, practice slowly. There is no difference between a gym conditioning exercise and a swimming conditioning exercise. When you move slowly, muscles are required to work for longer, which means you receive more physical conditioning. When you move slowly, you have more time to comprehend the movements that are on hand, so you'll learn these movements quicker. This means when it's time to swim again, you'll have more conditioning and more mental control to apply the movements from your drill into your stroke. Number three, separate your steps. Many swimmers lose the value of the drill by moving all the movements together. For example, in lateral kick, they may rotate their body and breathe at the same time. This means that the body becomes unstable because the head is adding extra movements on top of the stroke. During single arm freestyle, swimmers often breathe too fast or pull too quick. When swimmers breathe too fast, the position of the torso adjusts to find balance. As the torso adjusts, the conditioning is now different and the coordination is different unlike the movement of freestyle. By breaking up the stroke into segments, we could pull and rotate together and breathe separately. These two movements now have their own conditioning as per the stroke to ensure that you have the coordination and physical conditioning to help you with this aspect in your fluid freestyle. Number four, using fins. Swimmers often perceive fins as cheating, but fins are there to supplement your conditioning. Fins provide swimmers with more balance. This means that the stroke is not working to remain at the water's surface. The swimmer can then slowly practice the movements required for optimal conditioning. Once you have mastered the drill using fins, keep the fins on and practice slow laps of freestyle before taking the fins off. This will give you an opportunity to utilize the movements that you have just mastered during your drill into your fluid freestyle stroke. For competent swimmers seeking to test their control and ability, practice drills very slowly without your fins. Identify the moments where you sink or lose stability. These are the areas of your stroke to work on. Our last element is about other equipment. Unless otherwise specified, do not use other equipment during drills. Equipment such as pool boys or paddles change the balance of the stroke and change the load on the stroke. Unlike fins, where fins just provide extra buoyancy through a natural movement of the legs, pool boy and paddles change the orientation of the stroke. Snorkels may be useful, but keep in mind if you use a snorkel all the time, you're eliminating the conditioning of the breath the control of the breath from your stroke. You will have fun using drills during your training. Next time you see a drill on the board, 
Ask yourself the value and the purpose of this drill for freestyle. If you're not too sure, ask your coach. You will find more swimming drills on our YouTube channel. On each drill, we will highlight the value and the segmented steps required to get the best conditioning and utility for your swimming stroke.